This place still has power. It must be running off its own generator. No. Oh. I bet this is the command center for the entire complex. Saren's troops must have sealed the doors from here after he went inside. We'll have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that bunker. Okay, lots of assumptions there, but all right. I mean, obviously it's running on its own generator. That's that's sort of a given. Armature repair station I can't use. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, ah! Okay, good thing I saved. Statue, not exactly the best cover. Um, let's rush to that block there and crouch behind it. Okay. Uh, hopefully this will last for a little while. The grenades never work. Don't come over here. I'm gonna run over to another location, guys. This, this is a little bit too tight. Ah, oh, shoot. That sounds like Ashley. Okay. Alright. Um, how about some first aid here? Shields. No, no, shields. It's payback time. Yes, it is payback time. This guy's in an awkward position. Yeah. I don't know what an armature repair station would give me anyway, even if I could use it. Well, the uh, little map says something was over there. Oh, maybe it's upstairs here. Security panel. Sounds good. Come on, Saren's already got a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Yes, we know that, Unless Ashley. he's already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. We know that too, That's Rex. a chance we'll have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message. But I don't recognize the language. You it's don't? probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we can't understand it. Oh, don't worry. I understand The message it. is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Incredible. The cipher must have transferred an understanding of the Prothean language into your mind. Handy. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fault Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. Mm. It's too damaged. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, maybe up here? I don't know where our next stop is. Wait. Oh. No, this is it. Okay, okay. I was not finding this tunnel here. All right, weird. I mean, it's all very camouflaged because of the way the coloring is. Oh, thumping again! Darn it! Weapons out. Quick save failed. Oops. Here we go. I don't have the skill for any of the hardened crates around here. This feels like the entryway, doesn't it? Feels like we're back where we started kind of thing. Yeah. Ooh, 
which is partly because of the thumping. I don't remember the stairwell. Ah, bad guy. Yeah, don't worry, it's just a trooper. Jammed. Well, that's a good sign. Yep, quick save fail. Sappers. Gift sappers are totally useless. Stalkers are also useless. Okay, at five then? Alright. Yeah, that is basically where we start out. Where are we supposed to go? Trench. I guess we're going through this trench thing. I mean, are we supposed to go back out? Is that what's happening? I didn't I don't remember finding any controls. Yeah, I've gone to Ilos. Enter the archives. Or return to your vehicle and follow follow Saren. Okay, okay, okay. So that's why we ended up at the starting location. It's because we are supposed to follow Saren to the archives. Got it. Who votes we take the vehicle into the creepy underground bunker? Good idea. Yep, yep, good idea. No argument. And quick save. Don't forget to quick save. I thought Saren would have set some kind of trap or ambush for us. He must have been in too much of a hurry. Or we just haven't run into it yet. Ominous, ominous. What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of containers? Uh-oh. They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably tried to keep themselves alive through cryogenic freezing. Something must have gone wrong. Oh, things are shooting at us. Yeah, rocket trooper. Typical. Not exactly a trap trap, I mean... It'd hardly be a stint in the Mako without... Rocket troopers, right? Perimeter clear. I mean, even the music is relatively calm except for the thumping. So, rocket troopers, no threat at all. That is an. Ooh! S something flipped me around. Uh oh. Uh oh, I didn't think the Mako could be flipped like that. I've I've had much bigger Hmm. Oh, I don't know what kind of plasma wall that is up ahead. Uh come on. Okay, good. Just worried for a sec there that I'd have to restore the save. Trap! Saren must have set an ambush. I don't think Saren's behind this. Okay. What would make you think that, anyway? Oh, yeah, okay. It's the... No, your Mako can't go through this thing. Ah, then there's a, there's a place for us to go. Okay. I get the picture. Yeah. Yeah, we know. No, this is not the work of Saren. This is the work of the programmers. <laughs> uh... Why do we always put our guns away when we're in the elevator? Is that just politeness thing? What would make you think that there's some good luck? There's no reason to believe that this is good luck at that point. Okay. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. 
This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. Wait a minute. How come I can understand you? Why aren't you speaking the Prothean language? I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Okay. Well, what are you? Okay, I guess we should are ask Are you that. some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, chief overseer of the Ilos research facility. Okay, gets to the point. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government as it was with us, and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. Perfect trap. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack! Yes. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our Empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. All of you? Some of you must have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed, others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. Now, why did the Reapers leave? That's what I want to know. I don't know. understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. Well, except for Sovereign, right? Sovereign... Sovereign remained. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. All right, fair enough. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit.
conduit's not a weapon. It's a backdoor into the citadel. Okay, go on. What happened next? We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. What did you How do? How did you survive? I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. Oh dear. First support staff, then security. One by one, their parts were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? Well, it's not like they would have survived with the energy going down anyway. Uh, yeah. They couldn't let everyone die. Better to sacrifice some so others could live. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. I mean, the non-essential personnel would have killed anyway. the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left. Far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. The Keepers? The ones we've been scanning? Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Uh, okay. Saren must have some plan to undo exactly. everything Exactly. The one you call Saren will use the conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. Once inside, he will transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. Not this I'll time. I'll take Sovereign down. Somehow. There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit, follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. All right. No time to lose. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. Okay. Bit of renegade points for no apparent reason. Got it. Ah, the... The blocking mechanism is no longer here. So I guess we drive in this direction. I think. Ouch. I should probably save soon. Oh. Aw, so close. Ah, there we go. Okay, F5. Okay, now F5. Right. Uh, whoa. Hmm. Is this the right way to go?
Aqueduct. Okay, I guess this is the right way to go. If anything can take it, it's Damako. Oh, little rocket troopers in the water. Watch out. big one, the Colossus. Oh, I'm a little bit stuck here. I'm a little bit stuck. Ah. Okie dokie. At five? Yes. Seems like a nice place overall. Oh, wow. Oh, except for them. They're definitely messing up the ambiance. Your puny little rockets are no match for the Mako. Uh... There, the conduit. It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these Geth aren't going to make it easy on us. Okay. Now what? Nope, things are happening. Uh oh, uh oh. This doesn't look good. I'm still not entirely clear why we had to get to the conduit itself when Saren was supposed to have all the things. Whatever. Okay, um... This is looking bad. Activate the defenses! Seal the station! The arms aren't moving. Systems not responding. Abandon the Citadel! Evacuate the council! Yeah, please do. Citadel control! Citadel control, do you copy? Not really. Um, so, not really on time. Oh, conduit closing. So, conduit allows us to get... ...to the thing. Don't we need to Normandy? I don't think we have time to fight these guys. We just need to go through. We just, uh, weave, weave, and run. Faster, faster, faster. There we go. Ooh, what a way to get shot out. <laughs> 